after 900 and get a life. Hours playing Counter-Strike Global Offensive, I've reached the glorious rank of... <clears throat> <clears throat> this accolade clearly indicates that I am fully qualified for competitive esports level design. Now the idea of the map is, is a ramp. This is cover. Shoot in there. It's a little building. This is so you can protect yourself from window. All right, I've thought this through. This is very competitive, and that's about it. Now you might be wondering, Killy Sunt. What happens if you run the map? Move out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's such a beautiful piece of shit. My windows may or may not work properly. They just explode. So it all began when I gave birth to a square inside of another square and added a couple of slices of cheese. That's it. That's the layout. I attempted to add a sky to my box. A sky box, if you will. That is the sky. There's the sun, apparently. It looks a bit... like a JPEG. Well, this clearly needed to be improved upon, so I analysed the options in front of me and came to a sensible conclusion based on my technical expertise. Oh, that looks like a sun. This'll do it. I added a light, and it has deleted the light. It's now- that's the only place with light. <laughs> After a couple more attempts with fantastic results such as accidentally turning everything red, I eventually caved in and fell back on watching Top Hair Waffle for guidance. Through this, I learned how to add an actual skybox. Are you proud of me, Dad? No. It do be looking quite nice, though. There's actually a sky. It's not a JPEG. I tried to make the most out of my newfound sunshine by not having Attack on Titan heights of border security wrapped around my level. I've lowered the wall. I've broke the wall down. Suddenly, I had a theory. A game idea. My theory is, if Phil or somebody goes here and crouches, I can jump on their head and get on the side of the map. That is my theory. I did in fact get a hold of Phil, and we tested to see if we could fist this myth. <laughs> <laughs> Mission success. There was, however, a plot twist. Yeah. <laughs> You actually don't even need to boost. Whoops. You just need a well-timed crouch jump. Did I raise the walls by a singular centimeter to stop this? No. Tactics. Speaking of flawless strategic design, the windows, I discovered the fix for... <laughs> I uh, just, just needed to tick a box. The windows are alive! They didn't just explode. Look at this. It's what I wanted it to be. The genuine relief in my voice should probably indicate just how long it took me to figure that one out. <laughs> Finally, my dreams for a well-calculated shooty sheet of metal could be fully realized. There was an oversight. Because of course there was. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a new strategy. You can just throw your gun. <laughs> oh, it's so scuffed. Excellent here. Eh? Another smoke, so it could be really rough for Simple to actually get through this. He's gonna throw the AWP in. Oh my god! Simple, what is happening? Tactics. We've got a bit, we've got we've got a bit of an issue. Don't know if you can see it, but it's this. We got a nice pattern. Isn't that lovely? This nice blue line. Oh wait. The blue line the blue line isn't aligned with the other blue line. And that's not the these blue lines are vertical. What the fuck are they doing? What are you doing down here? So yeah, I needed to take a bit of time to familiarize myself with how to align paint on a surface. Oh god. No, I'm changing the rotation. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got him! Kind of. I mean, it's not identical whatsoever, but it, w 
I found myself becoming somewhat of a perfectionist. It's it's prog. That's disgusting. Decals were then discovered, which are basically textures you can slap on top of other textures. Thus, my quest for decorative skid marks began. We've got an ass wipe stain on the wall. Oh, oh, that's gorgeous. I'm gonna coom. That's what I'm talking about, baby. I'm so easily impressed. <laughs> I don't know what this baloney brain's talking about. Easily impressed? What a load of... <gasps> It's a bit of grass! Never mind. I'm gonna make a time lapse of me just, uh. <laughs> putting green pubic trimmings on a fucking wall. Joke's on you, me, from the past. I'm not gonna do that. No, okay then. So I gave the wall a tumor. It was initially supposed to be for a clock, but I didn't know how to do that at the. time. So one thing led to another. <laughs> Why? Okay, maybe that's a bit silly. So I went with Buddha's illegitimate child with Infinity War on his forehead. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it kind of works. <laughs> but then I thought, maybe that's a bit too sensible. It's already on a big boy map, so I decided to showcase my artistic prowess by drawing a chicken. I stayed true to the original design. I traced it. And I couldn't even do that successfully. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be a chicken, but it looks like a fucking child from the seventh circle of hell, and his face is melting, and he's very happy, and he's got a shit haircut. Beautiful. I think the watercolors really complement the sewage water green. Oh yeah, I kind of changed the theme of the level from random blue textures to like a temple kind of thing. What do you mean that's already a thing? I decided to live stream and spent 40 minutes meticulously placing fences with the finest precision, the utmost care, just to be informed in a message with video evidence that I could have just used black magic. Great! There's an area of the map we haven't explored yet. What is that up there? It's an almost exact replica of the map on top of the map inaccessible to slimy human filth. Why? Why would you do this? For the boys. Doormat to ensure chickens keep their toesies clean. Red carpet because they're important. Miniature table for caffeine consumption needs. Obligatory framed best friends forever poster. Graphic design is my passion. Fridge. Hey, I figured out how to add a clock. Television with appropriately chosen programming. Why would you put the most effort with custom textures, etc., into an area that you can't even access? Nobody asked. Well, I don't know. I watched some Three Clicks Philip video about things that were outside of maps, and I really like this table in Mirage. Well, it was supposed to be inaccessible, a divine sanctuary for our feather friends. However, due to popular demand, two or three people maximum, I graced the map with a holy ladder by adding a rectangle with the word ladder written on it. What a fucking lad. What's this? Why is there glass at the top of the ladder? Well, let me explain. That's so chickens don't fall through the floor and die. So go ahead. Smash it. Enter my cute, secret little area. But just know that by doing so, you're a cold-blooded, murdering bastard. Have fun! Oh. It- it survived the fall. Uh... I mean, it do kinda give the whole Smash Windows thing a purpose now. Because you have to do that to jump onto the boxes. Look, I'm trying to justify this absolute schlock as best as I possibly can, okay? As for the finishing touches, I added a radar by using tar. 
Not the shit that roads are made out of. This auto-generating wizard cube. If you don't add a radar, you're left stranded in eternal darkness. I added some shiny spheres that look like they came straight out of a Sonic special stage, which ended up making it look like the entire Earth's population of snails just had a global conflict on my walls. I named the map. It'll always be Babby's first map at heart. However, for the finalized name, I went with Henpool. Do you get it? <laughs> I combined the words hen and temple. Very funny, Killy Sunt. Okay, maybe I made a couple of last minute adjustments for fun. So I found this new site. Bomb has been planted. <laughs> It blows the windows off. Oh, oh, it's perfect. Welcome to ESL. Are you ready for esports? Well, you have to be patient first. Seven, Seven days. days. <laughs> Eight days. <laughs> Nine days. Ten days. Five. More, More than, than a year. year. He's done it. He's done it. You're the bloody cheater. <laughs> Stream sniped. Cool guy has taken the shot. He's trying. He can't make it to the boxes because of the well, well-designed map. He's shooting the television. He's an absolute madman. Someone has to be Zeus, so it makes that. I heard one. <laughs> I'm stuck. I'm stuck in a bit of metal. I'm stuck. Yeah. <laughs> Go on, away! Kill you, kill you someone. How does this guy know this map so well? It's unreal. Oh, you're too late, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Fuck! <laughs> 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 <Yeah. laughs> he got me back. Remember the window, Anne. Oh my god! Oh, please! Oh my god! Have we no. got we've got a diffuse. Holy. We've got a diffuse. Oh <laughs> we've got a diffuse. Well, at the end of the day, at least I got some useful constructive feedback. The the broken bell. window physics are really jank. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the layout of the map is complex. It's a square. <laughs> CS goes out to the shipment by Kelly Sun. So how does the map play? Well, a great man once said, it's shit with sprinkles on top. But it's my shit with sprinkles on top. And that great man went on to do remarkable things, such as make this video. In all seriousness, this was the first project file I've ever even opened. I just used it to help me get to grips with the basic tools. So now it feels less like being handed a pile of mega blocks with the blueprints to the Taj Mahal and more like I can kind of understand what's happening on the screen. I just wanted to document my initial mistakes and have a laugh. <laughs> I do notice stupid little things on maps now though. Like, Wow, a lily pad. Oh, wow. Mirage. The entire map. Where do you think I got this idea? Gunshot noise. There may be more map making in the future. I mean, there's a lot of possibilities there, and I had a lot of fun. So I'll keep streaming my efforts, because I'd like to see myself improve, and maybe one day put together something almost respectful or something more cursed either way i know this was something a little bit different i'm already frankenstein in more of the usual content so yeah i hope you enjoyed this little misadventure cheers mm -hmm.